try turtle and try to say it. So we just found this video on TikTok that was actually reposted by the official Visit Czech Republic Tourism Board and it is regarding to our city that we live in and there are a few things that need clarification. Now I'm sure this girl wanted to have a good time in Prague and she recommends you uh, to eat the giant pork knuckle. Yeah, don't do that because this place charges you by weight and it is sort of a tourist trap. We made a video about that. Then she recommends to try the traditional Czech trdelník. Yep, that's the thing that serves for us locals to tell that you're 100% tourist and that you've done zero research about our country. Then she actually has a good recommendation to admire the beautiful dancing house. Except she's doing it from an hop on hop of bus. So she was able to admire it for exactly three seconds as you can see in the shot. And last but not least, she mentions Beer Spa. She doesn't even go there, she just shows pictures. I would do the same thing. Why would you go to Beer Spa to bath in it when we drink it? So I wouldn't do that. But once I was already on TikTok, this is not the only video I found. So today we're gonna show you TikTok versus reality. And we found five things that most commonly appear on TikTok when you search for Prague. This place is the Sex Machine Museum and it is very popular on TikTok. And not only there, this place is popular also in terms of the amount of reviews it gets online and they're surprisingly good. Uh, it is more popular than many of the museums in Prague. Uh, the entrance is 10 euros, uh, so we're gonna skip it. We've never been. Uh, but if you do want to see a museum and you're like into machines, maybe we recommend uh, the National Technical Museum, where also your kids are allowed to go in, unlike here. We asked if any Czechs or locals actually go to this museum. The guy said, like, not really. And when we checked the Czech site uh, that shows the reviews for this place, uh, they're also very good, but there's only two reviews in Czech for this spot. Number two on our TikTok hit list is a place hidden inside the municipal library here in Prague, so let's give it a reality check. This tunnel, or well, this art piece, is an absolute hit uh, for people when they want to take a picture or make a video. Usually they stick their phone inside, which creates the illusion, uh, thanks to the mirrors, of an endless space. The art piece was created by Matej Kren, uh, who's a Slovak artist, and he always works with books. By the way, fun fact, this is not the original uh, art piece he created that looks like this. The original one was created four years prior to this one in Sao Paulo in Brazil. And all his other pieces are also made out of books. Uh, by the way, made out of 8,000 books, but since we're in the library of the city of Prague, there are many, many more books. So. And if you do come to the library, why don't you go to the actual library? They have a lot of cool books about Prague, including our book that you can read here, and all the books you see around me. And not only in the, this aisle, there's three more aisles are only regarding Prague. So you should definitely come check it out. By the way, according to the library, taking pictures and making videos of this art piece is allowed only for personal use. Yep, like this. This place is one of the most popular on TikTok and among tourists. It is the non-stop running elevator called Pater Noster. How did it become so popular? Well, two guys uh, called The Honest Guide mentioned it in one of their videos many, many years ago. And it is inside a governmental building. And the amount of tourists that come here actually do cause some trouble. Now, when we mentioned this place, we didn't realize that so many people will see the video. Back then, we only had few subscribers, so we didn't know what we're gonna cause. Well, we caused it to become a true tourist attraction, a true hit on TikTok, but also one downside. Because of so many people coming here, some of the people working here are quite upset. As I said, it's an official governmental building and people still need to work here. And because of that, there were also turnstiles installed by the door. Uh, so less people would be allowed to come in. So therefore, I'm not really gonna tell you where it is. You'll have to be the tourist discoverer to find out. And also, this is not the only one uh, that you can go to and ride it in Prague. If you come here and decide to ride it, please be respectful and be very careful riding it. Thank you. Popular elevator from the YouTube videos and TikTok.
Before we continue down the TikTok lane, uh, let me uh, give a big thanks to our longtime partner, which is Surfshark VPN. And certain countries in the world have certain restrictions also related to internet and what you can or cannot see. Now you can walk around these restrictions with VPN. Uh, you can simply place your device virtually to any country around the world. So I can be in the Czech Republic, yet my phone or any of my devices can be located somewhere else. And thanks to that, I can access sites and content, videos, movies that otherwise I would not be able to watch. For that, I use Surfshark VPN. You can use it as well. Uh, we have a link below uh, the video in the description that will give you three months for free and 83% off, or you can use our code HONESTGUIDE. Now we're gonna continue uh, on the TikTok lane or this lane, which is actually, believe it or not, the shortest street in Prague, but there's one more street we wanna show you. Well, this was not worth it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Traveled all around the world just to see this. Oh, come on. A TikTok hit, therefore a tourist hit. People think that this is the narrowest street in Prague, but guess what? It is not a street. It is just a space between two buildings that is an access to a restaurant. We actually looked up what this street originally was, and it is sort of an alley, an access way to the river, but also uh, back in the days, they would leave space between the houses just in case they caught on fire, it would help the fire not to spread. Uh, also, it doesn't really lead to the river anymore, uh, even though partially it was, but there is a restaurant. And one TikToker actually mentioned this. And it leads to a lovely little restaurant where you can stop for a drink and a view of the bridge. And if you're asking me about the opinion on the restaurant, I don't have any because I've never been there. But according to all the people that have been there, it is a tourist trap with two out of five stars in rating. So to a lovely little restaurant. Not really. Ah, look what we have here. How can you tell this is a tourist hotspot? <laughs> Another super popular TikTok place, but also a place in general for tourists, uh, is actually quite hidden and there are no signs that would point to it. And also my friend that lives here told me that the most common question he gets asked from tourists is, where is this place? Well, let's show it to you and you can decide if it's worth looking for. Now, the name of this place is John Lennon Wall, but I don't think it should be called John Lennon Wall anymore. First of all, John Lennon is long gone, not only from this world, but also from the wall. I think it should be nicknamed a place where most tourists violate the Czech laws by spray painting on a private wall where it is forbidden. Uh, the city did have uh, plans or did actually even try to put some actual art on the wall that would look good, but as of today, it's just drawings of tourists that make no sense at all. Why is it popular? Well, first of all, it doesn't need any explanation. It's just a wall in the city center that is somehow attached to John Lennon and it's colorful. Anything that is colorful attracts tourists. On the other hand, uh, from what I heard, many tourists complain about graffiti in Prague and how it destroys the look of Prague. And here, this one suddenly is good. Uh, so I don't really understand it, but people love to put it on TikTok. Why am I suddenly wearing different clothing? Well, because the wall is as well. Just a couple days after we shot this video, the wall was redesigned and repainted. The city acquired different artists from all around Europe and asked them to paint something on the wall. But the tourists coming here said, no, we don't like that. We're gonna paint over that. So it's only a couple days and there's already tags with Instagrams and some stuff that tourists from all around the world just feel like they should put on the wall. So no art for you guys. I don't want to be negative towards TikTokers and their content, even though quite often it's pretty shallow and not too informative, but you got to squeeze a lot of information into a very short time. I mean, we used to do that as well. Many of the places we showed you today, we showed in our videos and didn't give it any context. We just showed the place, it looked good on camera, and off we go to another one. Now we believe that as local guides, honest guides, we should give you more context. So if you find a place on TikTok, maybe look around our videos if you wanna put it into a realistic perspective. 
Uh, also, many of the TikTokers uh, not only are inspired by what we do, but some simply steal our content. And I mean, steal like one-to-one. -one. They just take our video and put it on TikTok. That being said, we are on TikTok, Honest Guide, or on Instagram, Real Honest Guide, so you can follow us there. But the most information you will get here on our YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, you won't miss a thing. For example, the future video next Sunday here from Prague. Till then, have a nice day. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a Czech word, and that is how to say shallow. Uh, shallow is povrchní. Povrchní means shallow in terms of an information. If you want to say that the river is shallow, it's mělka. Mělka is shallow river and povrchní is shallow information.